Hey everyone, so in today's video I am bringing you a comparison of two products that I do think are similar and hopefully this video is helpful and you have kind of been thinking the same things that I've been thinking um, and that the Glossier Future Dew could be similar to the MAC Strobe Cream and in today's video I'm going to break down you know what I feel about the textures, the way that they look on the skin, the way they wear and make your makeup wear so I hope that this video is helpful and of course if it is definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe if it is helpful. So let's just jump into the video. Let's first start off with the Glossier Future Dew because this is one that I know a lot of you are really excited about. So the Glossier Future Dew, you get one fluid ounce in here and it retails for $24. This is an oil serum hybrid and basically what that means is that it will give you kind of a little bit more oomph that a serum might give you and it also makes it much easier to apply in my opinion. I think serums tend to be a little bit more easy to apply and also I think facial oils kind of put people off. So this is a little bit more of like an emulsion product rather than just a straight serum or just a straight oil. So the texture is really nice and I tend to like these sort of like emulsion products. So this has glycerin and squalene. It also has jojoba oil in it. So this is definitely a skincare product and it gives the extra dew and a shine that is really appealing. But first and foremost, this is a skincare product which I love. I love skincare that can work really well in combination with makeups. Off the bat, I really, really love that about this. So really, really like the ingredients. I think it was a very well formulated and well thought out launch. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous and very sleek and pretty. Now as for the MAC strobe cream. So I have the miniature size because this is a better price per ounce. Full size is 1.7 fluid ounces and you get it for $35. Whereas this, you get this for $16 and it's one fluid ounce. So that is something to keep in mind. Go with the travel size because it will give you a better price per ounce. Now the MAC strobe cream is more of an illuminating product. It it will give your skin a little bit less of a dull look. If you have dull skin, they say that this is really going to make it look a little bit more glowy and shiny and really invigorate your skin. So this is more so about how it's going to make your skin look rather than it being a skincare product. At least that's how they market it. But don't be fooled because the MAC strobe cream does have really great ingredients in here. It has green tea and jojoba oil. So this, though this is more of like a dimethicone based cream, it does have nice ingredients in here. You're not paying a lot of money for absolutely no skincare benefits. You know, MAC is the OG sort of illuminating primer and this is definitely a cult classic for a reason. So let's kind of bring these two together. Let's talk about the texture because the texture of this product is really what makes these two products different. They both give a more illuminated look to the skin. You know, spoiler alert, that's definitely the case. But these textures are very different. So let's first start off with the Glossier Future Dew. You can see as I pump it out on my hand that it is a very, very liquidy product. I just pumped out one pump to use on one side of my face. When it goes onto the face, it really does feel like skincare. You get the sort of slip from the oil that you would want, but it's not really, really oily or sticky by any means. For me, it almost just feels like a super comforting, like Korean skincare emulsion. And it like glides and immediately when it goes onto the skin, your skin looks so glassy. It's really, really gorgeous. And I love the immediate dew and the sheen that it gives my skin. Most of the sheen isn't coming from a pigment. It's just coming from the ingredients. I love that it gives my skin an immediate glassy look. It really feels like it's good for the skin and it feels really plumping on the skin, but that look of my skin, my skin looks immediately 10 times more hydrated, but it's not just a look, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you get a really, really luminous product with a ton of pigment and sheen in it and your skin still feels so dry and it doesn't really do anything else for the skin, uh, this absolutely does. The way makeup applies over it, I have it on the side of my face today. Wow. I'm actually wearing the CYO Life Proof Foundation and I love it, but I never get 
this like sheeny glow from it and this combo is really really beautiful so i have to say texture wise i love that it is so liquidy if you're going to pay a little bit more money for a product like this i feel that it should actually give you skincare benefits and feel comforting on the skin now as for the max strobe cream i've used this for a really long time and i really really love it, it has a thicker cream consistency so the glossier has more of like a slight peach sheen it's very very slight with the glossier this is more intense um and that doesn't mean that it's super intense as a whole um just in comparison to the glossier i think this is definitely toned down from some other illuminating primers on the market but this really gives the skin a beautiful slightly more icy sheen you can get other shades of this so depending on your skin tone if you would like a different sort of sheen you can get that but this is the original feels very comforting on the skin like a moisturizer and a cream but once it's on the skin it's surprisingly lightweight i do think that me with dry skin i'm a good tell how hydrating a product is and how emollient it is this is actually surprisingly lightweight and i love that it gives enough of a subtle sheen to my skin and you're not left looking like you just put liquid highlight all over your face. It's a very sophisticated sort of sheen and I've always loved that about the MAC strobe cream. And I do like that my skin feels nourished and hydrated after I use it. Um, I don't think it's the same sort of feeling that the Future Do gives. Um, this to me is way more of a traditional I applied moisturizer sort of comfort. This to me just gives me a glassy look to my skin, like a really glassy, absolutely gorgeous look, but being a skincare product. But it's not like putting a face gloss on, it's just putting on like an emulsion that is going to give you that really pretty look. I think that this is very different and this kind of reminds me of what the MAC strobe cream used to be. You know, when strobe cream came out, it was kind of unlike anything than what was on the market at the time and this I think is kind of the same. I showed you guys before, this is what the Glossy Future Do looks like on this side of my face. And this is what the MAC Strobe Cream looks like. So you can see this is a little bit more of an icy, luminous sort of look. Whereas this, you can see is way more of like a glassy, super hydrated skin look. I hope you can actually tell on camera what I'm talking about. See how that looks a little bit more like a highlight and this looks more like a skin sort of texture thing. Hey everyone, so it's future Amanda here. I wanted to actually put in an extra part to this video. I was thinking about it and I thought, well, I'm already applying the primer to both sides of my face. I might as well update you guys and show you how the foundation wore on each side of my face with the different primers. Obviously, a primer like this is more focused on how it's going to make your skin look and how it's going to make the makeup apply. It's not necessarily good for longevity. In general, the MAC strobe cream gives you like a really subtle, nice hint of glow under your foundation and it helps it glide much easier. And the glow Glossier gives you like a much more sheeny, glassy look, but I thought it might be interesting for you guys to see over time throughout the day, is that still the case? So I'll zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can see each side of my face. Here is the Glossier side and you can see it still gives me that really, really pretty sheen that we saw this morning and I, I really, really like that about it. My skin still feels really supple and hydrated, but it doesn't feel like oily whatsoever. Um, this product doesn't leave you with like an oily feeling to your skin. Actually, funny enough, if you guys are familiar with the Stradia Liquid Gold skincare product, but this texture and the emulsion property of this reminds me quite a lot of that. This just gives you more glow to your skin, but the texture of it kind of reminds me of that. I was thinking about it today. The foundation wore very well with it. We're gonna ignore that hormonal breakout. This side of my skin still has a little bit of that sheen, but I don't know if you can tell how it's, it's a little bit more subtle. It's definitely a more subtle, sheen look my foundation wore very very well with the mac you know my skin feels still feels hydrated um this feels a little bit more dewy and more even more hydrated and you can see even just like side by side 
on my face. Like this side of my face has more of that sheeny do and this side is a little bit more natural. That's one thing that Glossier wanted to accomplish with the Future Do is that it's giving you the appearance that you have like a really sheeny, pretty skincare product on, but it's giving you that look long term. It's kind of like a long wear sheen product, which I thought was really interesting. And I'm happy to report that I, I do think that's the case. Looking at it now, I prefer this side of my face now um, to the MAC strobe cream. I think the Future Do looks looks better on my skin type. Neither of these products break up the foundation. Really just meant to give you that sheen and I'm so happy that this one actually lasts, like the sheen from the Future Do actually lasts. Something good to note is that if you have super oily skin, I would stay far away from this. I don't see this being a product that those of you with oily skin will enjoy as a primer, like as something to wear under makeup. As a skincare product in general, gorgeous. And I would definitely look into it for that, but for like under makeup sort of thing, I don't think that you will jive with it. Whereas MAC strobe cream is a little bit more lightweight. It's not super lightweight, but I do think that like texture wise, you might go along with the MAC strobe cream a little bit better. Just so you guys know, I am a Glossier rep. So if you found the video helpful, um, definitely feel free to use my link down below to check out Future Do. If you guys have any other questions, about either of these products, I will be in the comments down below. I hope that you'll subscribe if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed the video. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next one.